We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Chicago Cubs and the Cleveland Indians. So digging in now, Nico Horner, and we are set for baseball here this we evening. For the Cubs. The Nico Horner. First delivery to him on the way. First hit. Seven o'clock. Inside, ball one. The one one. Misses, ball two. A cool 47 degrees tonight at first pitch. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. And he lays off all four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. So in now for Chicago, Joey Wendell. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, the pitch. Nope. Wendell. It's a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang bang at first every time, but the guy's out. He's got sure hands and an accurate throwing arm. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring up the center fielder Lorenzo Kane. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. Ramirez is there. Hernandez at second. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Pitch on the way. Nope. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. Two and one now to the tribe's leadoff man. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Into the corner and slicing foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit to short. Scooped up. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Into the box now, Francisco Lindor. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left handed. The wind up and the 0 1. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Two balls and two strikes, the count to Francisco Lindor. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0 2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. 
This is pulled into right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. To the plate now, Jose Ramirez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest, one and one. From the belt, the pitch. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike, too. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Corner ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Into the box now, Keith Alonzo. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First pitch on its way. 1-0. Ready with the 1 0. Good curveball there, gets the swing and miss. Lindor stands at second with two gone. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Two-two pitch is fouled away. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a knock. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Cubs four hole hitter Jason Hayward. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Swing hard liner to left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. You know on a cold night like this I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. On to first and that's now two innings and two double play balls here tonight. Two away now. The next hub up, Anthony Rizzo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. Popped him up. Santana waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Here's Carlos Santana now, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Fouled off. Now the one and one pitch. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. 
Mills has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Here it is on three and one. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Striding in for the Indians, Josh Naylor. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the belt, the pitch. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. Hey. One and two now. Nobody out, runner on first. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. In the dirt here. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. That is tough. Into the box, Jordan Luplo. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Kane on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Striding in, Roberto Perez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. As a look, now the pitch. Now the 1 0. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around, and the inning is standing in Wilson Contreras as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Fastball taken down the middle, and that's strike two. Oh, strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is DeShields. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Guess where he's going with this next pitch? Probably a little further outside, see if the fish are still biting. One and one to Schwarber. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Two balls and a strike now. And it misses three and one now. And 
and this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. He's set. Here it comes. Third inning, no score to this point. Oh, and he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Took something off there, but this is hit well anyway. Out to deep center. Back goes to Shields. At the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, Nico Horner. He drew a walk his first time up. Nico Horner. From the stretch. A runner on first with two away. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. One ball, one strike. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Bottom of the third now. And up to bat next, Delino DeShields. The center fielder, Delino. First offering on its way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. 2-1 and one to count. Here's the pitch. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. A square to bunt, and it's popped up, but this will just get foul. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cesar Hernandez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Up next to Cleveland. Not your stop. Francisco. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Francisco Lindor will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now he goes the other way and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And that one is. Standing in now, Jose Ramirez. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Still only one out in the inning. And it's one and two. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt, we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Digging in to try it again, Pete Alonso. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. 
Hap will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. All set for the start of the fourth and set to go is the second baseman. Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell. First pitch coming. Here it is. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. That's popped up. Lindor onto the grass. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. At the plate, Lorenzo Kane. The center fielder, Lorenzo Kane. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Popped up. Santana moving to his left, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jason Hayward, one for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Popped up. Santana shading to his right, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Carlos Santana. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that's in there for strike one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. The one two. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Here he comes again. One two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here. Searching for that put away stuff. The next one two pitch. No oh. offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone. The left fielder, and Winkler answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. At the plate now, Josh Naylor. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. 
that's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. This one's also hit well. Deep down the right field line. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Ball one. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Well, that's out. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone and it's even at two. I tried to backdoor him there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Riding in once again, Jordan Luplo. One run in and one gun so far in this inning. A ball and no strikes. Three runs, three hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Hayward has a read on it. Two down. Standing in, Roberto Perez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here it comes. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now. 0-2. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Now here's the pitch. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Back goes to Shields. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. So one gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Now the pitch. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. In there, a base hit. And this will bang up against the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. The pepper, number 40, Wilson. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Chop down the third baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Into right field. That's a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Now that designated hitter. So now to the plate, Kyle Schwarber, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. And he misses with it, 1 and 1. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game, and he fouls this one off. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Here's Chris Bryant now. And they're runners at the corners now. 
Hit on the ground to short. He's got it. On to first, and the Cubs squander what looked like a good opportunity as that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Delino DeShields. Delino DeShields. First pitch of the at bat. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Up next for Cleveland. At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. And so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And the shields breaks from the bag. Strike called. Now oh. he's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Digging in once again, Francisco Lindor. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Jose Ramirez is at the plate and he checks his swing for ball one. And this one's in the dirt. The runners will hold, but meanwhile, the count moves to 2 0. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Now the 2 1. A bouncer up the middle. To second for one on to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Keith Alonso. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. One out away from stranding that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. Hayward is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working. Ball set for the start of the end. Inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Nico Horner. Nico Horner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Horner, a California born ball player. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Now back. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. From the stretch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Hernandez at second. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Stepping into the box. Lorenzo Cain. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Lifted into the air out towards center field. De Shields is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth. And that will bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. 
first pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. The Shields is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Digging in and looking for more, Carlos Santana. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it last at bat. That ball was down in a way. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. Corey Knable enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Set and the pitch. In there, strike one. All one for the count. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Carlos Santana becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Josh Naylor is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Three runs, four hits, and one error in the ball game for Cleveland so far. A 2-0 count to the Indians' left fielder. And it's fouled away. Now the 2-1. I got 3-1. Three, three balls, one strike. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Jordan Luplo is at the plate as he watches ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. A ball and a strike. It's funny. That pitch... I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Coming to the plate now, Ian Happ, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. 1 and 0 oh, the count. The pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. A hit in two tries for him so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. Here it comes on one and one. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get knocked. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. Throw in time at first for route number two. 
So now with two out and the base is empty, it's Wilson Contreras. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Luplo is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. For the traditional seventh inning. In now, Roberto Perez. No hits to this point. The Indian, the catcher, Roberto Perez. From the stretch. Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve. Strike one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 0-2 once more. That's a ball. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Now the pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3-2. and two. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and two, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. First offering on its way. Delino De Shields is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Brad Wick comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball inside. First and second here with nobody out. That's inside. 2-0. and oh. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind the count with guys on base. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Brown back up the box and it'll get through into center field a base hit and no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out and that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor there's one on the first and it's a double play although the run does come into score from third in now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez, runner in scoring position with two guns. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Here's the 1-1. Lifted in the air to center. Kane is under it. And that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The shield is there. One pitch, one out. Now at the plate, Chris Bryant. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what is he doing? He shows up. Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. High fly ball out to straightaway center. DeShields is there. Two down. Now back to the leadoff spot from the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Nico Horner. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at-bat. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. 
can't get around quick enough and that'll move the count to one and one. Here's the pitch. Nope. You know over the course of a full season you're going to have some clunkers and this certainly looks like one by the look on the manager's face. He's going to probably call a meeting after this. Cubs shortstop with a three and one count. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches, very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have... Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the... So next, it'll be the four-hole hitter for the Tribe, Pete Alonso. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth the inning. Hitter. Out in front of it, strike one. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. The 2-1 home. Three balls. One On deck, Carlos Santana. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. The bouncer to the left side, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now batting, the first baseman, Carlos. Craig Kimball takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. So now Carlos Santana pitch is popped up. Under it is Rizzo. One away. Settling in now, Josh Naylor. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Runner at first here, one man out. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 2-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. King is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Ready for another chance. Jordan Luplo. First pitch of the at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The catcher, number 55. Into the box, Roberto Perez, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 from him so far in this one. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And that's over, 3-1. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Striding into the box, Delino De Shields. And with every base occupied, a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Kimbrell's ready. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. On to first, and the driver held in check as the inning is over. A 
All set to start the ninth in this one. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. Ball one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Then a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. 2 0 now. The pitch. Swing and he popped him up. Over in foul territory, back behind third. Ramirez is over and he puts it away for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Lorenzo Kane. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Nope. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. And the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder coming on. He gets there, and that's the second out. That'll bring up Jason Hayward, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on the first will be in time, and the Indians have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. 4 nothing the score tonight. The Indians led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Zach Plezak earns the victory on the mound. Alec Mills worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The